morning already. Today is the first virtual work day that we are having since the closing. So this is Monday. It is day seven of not having school. We didn't have school all last week. I've been out a few times. I went to the grocery store twice last week. Me and Adam went on a ride yesterday just to get out and see stuff. But today, since it's a work day, I can't really go anywhere. And I do have a lot to do. So as of right now, we're only out the rest of this week. And that could change by the time this video is posted. But as of now, Monday, we are out the rest of this week and we'll go back on a week from today. So our job as teachers are virtual work days. We are logging our time and we're just doing enrichment activities. Like we're not introducing any new activities, any new information. It is just to help kids to review what we've already done keep practicing those skills that they have used and just to make sure that they don't regress too much these two weeks that we have this week that we've been out in two weeks by the time they actually come back to school hopefully so we had a virtual meeting through zoom this morning if you're a teacher and hold on my series talking to me if you're a teacher some counties i've heard aren't letting people use zoom i'm not sure i understand bro i'm not talking to you hush but that was really cool and I feel like if this extends longer, I might use that to communicate with my kids. But for now, I just, I already have Google Classroom set up for all of my kids and all of my classes. So I went on ahead and posted a little assignment for them to do just to review some stuff we've been doing before we were on this break. So I just did that and I just, I made it do Friday because some kids aren't going to see it till like, Wednesday or something I don't know but I may post some different assignments throughout the week just to help them review again we can't give any new material which I know some people are upset about but for me that gives me anxiety introducing new information to kids and not being there to like actually teach it to them I just I don't I don't know that just doesn't give me like happy thoughts of course for me I'm already used to talking to a camera so if this extends longer I would make my kids suffer through and watch me teach them and do it door the explorer style just to be funny for a little bit and like ask them a question and then like have the awkward pause and then you know be like yes you're right but now since I posted that assignment uh, I'm gonna check back on there and a few hours and see if anybody's posted anything my main goal with these assignments is to not only check for accuracy but to give them feedback on specific things within that assignment if you're a teacher you know it's really hard to give feedback because it's just very time consuming so with all this extra time i have at home i am going to use it to the best of my advantage and give all the feedback i can to my kids but while i'm waiting for that I am literally just watching a few YouTube videos of what other teachers are doing, especially Eng English teachers. I've been watching The Caffeinated Classroom. If you haven't watched her before, if you're a teacher, I would highly suggest that. She's super awesome. And I'm just going to see what they're doing. And I'm also just going to take this time to look at some resources that our librarian has posted on our Google Classroom for us to be using and just use it for professional development and that's pretty much all we're doing today last week i didn't really do a whole lot if you haven't already seen on my instagram i made a tiktok because i had reached absolute boredom last week so if you want to go check that out i will link my it is the same username as my instagram but i will link it down below so you can check that out and make sure to follow me on instagram and to subscribe so that uh we can talk to each other i guess i don't know but i'm not gonna bore you with a vlog this is a super long intro let me just set this up since it's a sit down video okay so I just want to be real with you guys. I really miss my kids. Yeah, like the first day or two that we were out, it was cool. I just sat here 
ate what I wanted. I have enjoyed it not doing my makeup or my hair, but it is very different and like you get used to seeing these kids every day and then you just don't get to see them anymore. And I went to school the other day and I picked up any materials I needed. So like some stuff I might need to grade. We're still not allowed to grade stuff right now and put it in power school or anything like that. But I grabbed all that. And this is just, this is absolutely crazy that we are out of school because of the virus. Like I understand that it, it is wild and like it's spreading pretty fast and like it's, it's, oh, what's the word? It's, uh, it's dangerous to older people and that is why we're quarantined. That's why we, we don't want it to spread. That's why everybody's at home mostly, um, unless you have a job that you're not around people or you're an essential person like a nurse or any kind of people like that that are dealing with this, especially nurses and like paramedics and all these people who are having to work through this time, like, bless you so much because and grocery store workers but I just want to shout out real quick thank you to all those people who are working and thank you to those people who are in the medical field that are still having to do things and sorry if the setup changed I ran out of storage on my phone so I had to go through and delete some stuff but again thank you to anybody who is working during this time because I understand it is hard and I'd be jealous too if I had to work and all these people were at home but it is a very weird time and I have no excuse why I missed, I didn't put up a video Sunday. Um, I had all the time in the world last week to film a video and honestly I'm just struggling coming up with stuff to put up. Because every idea I have I think is going to suck so it is what it is. But I just wanted to hop on here real quick and tell you guys what is going on in the life of a teacher during the coronavirus. We're all just we're all just as lost we all have no idea what's going on um we're just but i am going to get back to work i will see you guys in my next video make sure to subscribe so you can keep up with whenever i post videos and go to my instagram because i post there way more often than i post on youtube and i will see you guys in my next video bye well you guys i'm cutting in here somewhere in my video that I just posted and that is because the governor Roy Cooper from in from North Carolina I don't know about other states but has just declared that we are not going back to school until May 15th it is the what day is it <laughs> it's the 23rd and we aren't going back to school until May I have no idea what that even means. <laughs> I guess we're going to go online. I, are we going to have summer school? I have no idea. So this completely changes everything. So just wanted to hop in here and say that, you know, this, I'm trying to keep this week as, because uh, we still haven't gotten the okay, obviously, to do any new material or grade anything. So my plan is going to stay the same, but uh, yeah. Just wanted to give you an update that that's what's happening. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow me through pretty much two months of no school. That's crazy. I'll see you guys in the next video, for real this time.